value for our customer at the end of that because ultimately that's you know when you think of it in the business environment that's what we're hoping to do so buy into that as the definition of innovation I'm gonna have a defensive and an offensive reason that we need to innovate this is my defensive one if we don't innovate as a company we will become extinct here's my second compelling reason that we need to innovate companies that lead in innovation will lead their industry and create big value how many of you have seen Shark Tank all right, so we got about a third of the room. Our version of Shark Tank today is about uh, four innovative ideas that were entered into the field day contest. Innovation was one of them. We're gonna have people come up and pitch their ideas, and you're gonna have some investors here, and this is gonna be Rupert's version of it. All right, good afternoon. My name's Chuck Wheel, and I'm your host, and welcome to Rupert's rendition of Shark Tank. First shark out of the gate, Chad Prinky. At 18, he made his first million hustling scope pictures on U.S. East Coast beaches. By 22, Chad led all sand sales on the Arabian Peninsula and parlayed his selling skills into the billion dollar sales consulting conglomerate Prinky and Newberger. Chad's also an accomplished actor, having played roles on Days of Our Lives and currently can be seen on the CBS hit sitcom Big Bang Theory. When not filming, Chad's searching for the next strategic startup to invest in. Next up, Mr. Bill Meisner. His early beginnings were marked by beer joints and groupies as he fronted the band Burp the Cat. He parlayed his love of music into a major recording contract and then bought out his label, Fubar Records. But Bill's rise to prominence came when he became part of this striking power couple and with his shrewd investing in vacant warehouse space where he made his billions and earned himself the international moniker of Flexspace King. All right, a round of applause for Donna Nichols. The daughter of an immigrant farmer, Donna began her career slinging hash at the All-Star Lanes in Kimberling City, Missouri. By age 20, she put herself through college and was moving her way up the corporate ladder where she would eventually head up the accounting firm of Nichols Price Waterhouse. She sold her controlling interest several years ago and now splits her time between managing her real estate investments and collecting rare art. Last but not least, Mr. Christopher David. As an ambitious teenager, Chris got his start pushing a lawnmower with his buddy, Craig Rupert. And together, they built their fledgling business into the green industry juggernaut that it is today. Along the way, he invested in multiple businesses, including a Polish transportation company, American Energy Services, and Krunk, the preferred energy drink of rappers. These strategic investments have elevated him to the notorious millionaire venture capitalist that he is today. We 
We've met our sharks. Let's meet our first team of innovators out of Forestville. Hi, I'm Matt Davidson. This is Wayne Taylor. We're from the Forestville branch, and we're here to request $20,000 to invest into 17 replacement weed ears into battery with a return on investment of $600 your first year, $12,000 your second year, and $25,000 your third year in operation. In addition to that, we've actually been using this technology down on the Smithsonian Institute down in UPC. So we've been running it with three crew or one crew with two weed eaters and two blowers the entire season last year. Product comes with a two-year warranty. Everything's covered 100%. Battery has a lifespan of 1,500 hours. We're looking for 10,000. 20,000. 20,000 to do 17 weed eaters in the branch, convert them over. Return on your investment for the first year, you'll actually make $600 in four cool seconds. Year two, you'll make 12,000. Year three, you'll make 25. I, I, I like it, and I'm not afraid of the money. I think the advantages are huge. I would like to maybe not go all just weed eaters and take some of it to the other because I think the marketing component possibly could be bigger, but uh, I'm, I'm willing to go in. <laughs> People see this stuff in the branch. Hopefully, it's impossible. Thanks for the presentation. How are we doing, guys? Good. Well, good. Uh, my name's Mark Ennis, and this is Charles Tankersley, and we're from Georgia Landscape Branch. And today, we're going to. Uh, Show you our chicken foot layout tool. We're seeking $5,000 to implement uh, and manufacture this. Why do you need $5,000 if they cost six bucks each? You're well, eight, eight. We, we, were, we were looking for uh, $1,500 for to implement this, and then uh, we were gonna use the other $2,500 for our branch uh, celebration for selling this product. <laughs> I like I like the way they think. Yeah. We got, we have our eyes set on a very large smoker right now. Got it. You're planning on rolling this out in every landscape construction branch in the company at once. Yes, sir. Um, I'm prepared to give you four million dollars. <laughs> Uh, I, I would think it, we could get that done with the fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, right. we got a deal. We got a deal. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Thank you. Once you have these in all the branches, you'll have plenty of money to spend on the celebration. I Good think job so. Again. Thanks, John. How you doing, Sharks? Well, hello. Very good. Thanks for having us today. We're looking for an investment of $110,000 to uh, change the uniform to a high vis um, ANSI certified reflective uniform that's uh, universally accepted for all our sites. Have you done any analysis? Is there any data saying this $110,000 is going to make us safer? To say that it's going to make us safer. With data, it's not not supported, but we've had five incidents last year um, where people were struck either with our own vehicles or with equipment on the job site. Um, those costs were, uh, the cost last year for the company were a little over uh, $1.8 million uh, just in struck by incidents. How much would it cost to just fund these for Maryland Landscape? $7,500. Um, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's go after. Yeah, let's get it done. Now. Excellent. Thanks, Sharks. Cool. Let's, uh, let's hug it up. Thank you. I'm Kevin Hazelgrove from Richmond, Virginia. This is Travis LeBlanc, and we're here to ask the Sharks for an initial investment of $58,400. We think it will bring efficiency and safety to our field employees and it will also bring a return of $540,000 to the company. Our solution is the Camelback. It's a portable hydration system. You wear it on your back and I'm going to have Travis speak to the 
technical side and the features of the Camelback. The bladder, mouthpiece, and cord are all replaceable and relatively cheap. Um, it also keeps the water cold. Ice can go in there. The, the mouth is large enough to fit as much ice in there as you'd like. Have you tried them yet? Has the crew used them? I had one all through college for hiking and biking. And I carried it into a full mow season and it is still like new. It doesn't retain any stink. $58,000 on a concept that nobody's actually piloted, you know, no crew is actually piloted. Uh, I like those numbers, but I have a little bit of concern that some of those 10 minute breaks are going to kind of happen anyway. Uh, you, you know, I, I kind of envision some guys finding other reasons to take two or three minutes and, and catch a breather. I still think there's a savings there. Personally, use the Camelback. No, it doesn't uh, heat up. It does a really good job of keeping things cold. Uh, and, and, and I'm intrigued by the idea. I'd like to see a time study. I want to see the map. I'd actually like to see a time study. Can you guys commit to that? We could commit to that. All right, cool. What, what would you need to get uh, half a branch going? About a thousand dollars. About a thousand dollars. Cool. Come up with the exact number as long as it's in that neighborhood. I think we got a deal. Okay. All right. See you guys. Wasn't the right. Yeah, it's definitely not right. This was cruising from cruising.